Jim, and uh, thanks to the National Academy for having us in this beautiful place. And thank you, Barbara, for helping us appreciate the history and the beauty of this uh, glorious space. Since its establishment in 1919, the International Union of Biological Sciences has been a vital forum for international scientific collaboration. And so when we thought about uh, how to unveil, announce, show the world this new uh, endeavor, uh, we said to ourselves, uh, every annual assembly, would be their general assembly, would be a, a perfect occasion. And so while the press conference was this morning, we consider the formal launch right now, right here in this room, among scientists, matter to use and add to and give life to this new encyclopedia. So I am proud to announce that uh, MacArthur Foundation and the Sloan Foundation uh, have joined together to provide the initial funds for the encyclopedia. The goal of the Encyclopedia of Life, or EOL as we call it, is to provide an online web page for every known species on Earth. Each page will summarize our current scientific knowledge, uh, describing uh, the species of behavioral characteristics, genetic profile, geographical uh, distribution, ecological relationships, and its practical importance for humanity. The portal page for species will be linked to other relevant databases, continually peer-reviewed for quality, and regularly updated. The EOL will be accessible without cost, worldwide, a truly shared global resource of governance and content and an application. And I would venture to say uh, some of its most important use will be in the developing world. The Encyclopedia of Life can raise our sights and expand our views of life on Earth, just as a microscope helps us reveal and explain what is small in particular. EOL can serve as a macroscope, allowing us to discern patterns previously unseen, illuminate relationships, identify gaps in our knowledge, and suggest new avenues for inquiry. It can help track biodiversity as climate change and human activity put species under pressure. It can add great value to the work of the scientist, the student, the conservationist, the policymaker, the passionate. Five important institutions have come together initially to launch the EOL, the Smithsonian, Harvard, Field Museum, the Marine Biological Laboratory, and the Missouri Botanical Gardens. And we are joined by the Biodiversity Heritage Library, a consortium of ten leading international museums, uh, also a critical part of uh, our partnership. And soon others will join the uh, steering committee and be part of an institutional council we're forming as we make this truly a global enterprise with representation from Latin America, Africa, and Asia, uh, and really all the continents. And we're hopeful that uh, the uh, Atlas of Living in Australia will be our, our very uh, our first uh, uh, new edition. MacArthur has provided the lead commitment of $20 million, and Sloan and the other founding institutional partners will contribute a further $30 million. So we have a uh, a modest beginning of, uh, of 50 million, and uh, we imagine that it might take uh, as much as double that to complete the job over 10 years, but this will surely uh, get us off to a good start. Now, today, you can go to the website and uh, see a sample page, uh, but don't expect to see 1.8 million pages tomorrow. Uh, but by the uh, end of next year, there should be 35 to 50,000 species pages uh, available, so uh, it will be a reality uh, very, very soon. Let me close by uh, simply uh, reiterating a theme already mentioned, and that is for the EOL to reach its full dimension, it must be a global endeavor, a resource of knowledge that is created by all, maintained by all, and that brings benefit to all. Uh, and we're very much counting on this as a participatory group effort, not just of uh, great institutions in the world, but of uh, individuals as well. And this content will expand as 
thousands of individuals and institutions that lend a hand. The endeavor we launched tonight uh, belongs to all of us, and so let us join together and make it a force for scientific research and a catalyst for greater public engagement with science. Thank you for the privilege of addressing yourself.